hop on that train and go ahead and go immerse to this new world that oh, the government controls everything, but one person makes a change. So let's go ahead and review Boy Kills World. Boy Kills World that is directed by Moritz Moore and our star Bill Scard that does Boy <laughs> that we have seen him before in other films. But this film brings us to a different world where the government controls basically everything. But probably they're still they're already doing that to us. Uh, we don't want to get into that. But in this in this film, the government, technically speaking, controls everything due to the fact that they want to maintain the crime volume under and not only control the crime volume, but they want to control like literally what you consume and what you see in TV. So in this film, we follow a boy um, that his uh, family has been uh, murdered thanks to the government or to our character, Hilda van der Kooy. And what is the mission of this boy? The boy goes ahead and gets adopted to like this Mr. Miyagi type of character. But there's there's no wax on and wax off on this one. This is reload, shoot, kill, literally. No wax on and wax off on this one, guys. But this type of Mr. Miyagi like character goes ahead and trains boy to be like this killer. Uh, I'm not going to say serial killer, but it's basically making him the perfect assassin because his mindset is just set to go ahead and get revenge for his family because he did not only see his sister be murdered he as well sees his family as well in the in the flourishing of the film you see him get to know other characters or other um friends i would say that are the comedy relief in this film this film is phenomenal it's top notch and the action i'm not gonna talk about the action the action is just bonkers guys the action on boy kills world is like literally let me put it this way it's like if you get to see john wick in with a little bit much more gore a little bit much more top not uh, not top notch action but a little bit much more over the top action and how can I say this? It's like you see boy is basically a superhero in steroids, because even though we do have John Wick as a base, because most of these films have a base of like this top notch or over the top action like John Wick. But in this case, boy is like this character that basically never dies or never gets killed or, you know, gets to its mission. The movie is great. It's funny, has a lot of action. It's enjoyable. Plus that it has that feel kind of like, um, I would say kind of like Fallout. Because you guys know, and not the post-apocalyptic part. The fact that you know that Fallout has many things in advance, like the power suits or the cars, but the retro side maintains like the retro tvs the retro styles the clothing so in this case boy kills world has that same aspect so it's like a very futuristic world but as well it maintains that retro style of like tv and whatnot i like that the film has that as well a lot of nods on different types of like older films um like one of the biggest references that i did see but in the had a minor twist to it was the running man um that happens like literally mid part of the act and it has that running man feel but with a twist i do say that as well the the characters on the film are fun they're intriguing i do say that i think that the only thing that i will criticize from the film is the script i think that the script was not polished enough to bring great one-liners or great lines for the characters surrounding the world i think that they wanted to go to a like a little bit much more to the comedy side because it is like basically a comedy action film but i think that if they would have maintained the seriousness of the film a little bit more like in a level like a one a plus one more on the action and the lore, I think that it would been benefit more to the film because, you know, there, I would say that you can, you can put this film, like basically kill bill, kill bill has a little bit of humor in it, but it maintains that grouchy, gory, 
um, action feel of Kill Bill. In this one, I think that they uh, they didn't make it to that part of Boy Kills World. I still say that it's a very enjoyable film. It's a great film to like, you know, just sit down, uh, grab a grab popcorn and just, you know, go bonkers on it. And as well, if you're in the theaters, I, I agree, go to the theaters and see it. I I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm not the type of person that it, that will say to you right now, like, oh, yes, go recommend it. The film is fun. If you are a person that likes to just sit down, relax, enjoy a good action film, Boy Kills World is your film. All of the cast of this of this film did a phenomenal job. Um, the lore is there, but I would say that the only down part is the script, because even the action sequences are phew, phenomenal i love the fact that uh action films are bringing back those one not bringing back the one takes my bad but are bringing back the full um full take or full screen take where you see everything to flourishing not that cut here cut hit there um you know throw punch cut punch hit cut and then full full shot cut no now we are seeing back those full shots where you enjoy the whole thing from start to finish. So yeah, if you like action, you like comedy, you like, I would say, I'm not gonna say post-apocalyptic, but if you like cyberpunky um, uh, theme, yeah, Boy Kills World is your film. And again, it's a phenomenal film. Don't miss it out. It's going to be in theaters as soon as you think is releasing on april 26 so don't miss out boy kills world is going to be a phenomenal experience so if you guys want more interesting reviews interviews and much more go to real in films in all of our social media or our website realinfilms.com where we post all um our news for movies and much more we will see you guys in the next one